Hey everyone, so I'm gonna share a little work in progress video with you uh, about this AR app concept where you basically reserve a bike in the public, you take your app and you scan the environment uh, with augmented reality to find it back instead of uh, watching a map that is inaccurate, you then uh, scan your bride and you're ready to go. And uh, that's the whole concept of it. And uh, the next step I wanted to do here is to basically create another piece of this work. Uh, and if you look on some previous work that I did, this is Basic Class uh, two years ago, where you have this collection and system uh, with a lot of different screens and flows and interesting motion happening. And you do this pan out and uh, rotation. It shows like the breadth of the work and you get more sense of how this can work uh, live. Um, and that is what I want to do. So I started off by doing this collection. I, I basically took uh, the existing flow and placed it out in mockups like this. So my first idea was to have these four screens have one piece of that flow. So it starts here and then when that ends uh, it continues on each of these screens. Uh, but to do this you then have to fill out a lot of stuff in the edges here and as you see here you really see duplicated screens and that's something you want to avoid. You want to have as much uniqueness as possible into these screens otherwise it's going to be a, a filler and not really provide any additional value. So I took a stab in the past uh, weekdays and uh, this is a concept, just fast screens of how this could work like in different experiences in this app and this for example could be a map a map view of uh, seeing all the bikes around you even before you were serving or aiming to a specific one. We have a big highlight of how many bikes you have nearby, you have how far that one is, you have a scan button to bring that AR experience right up, you have a back button if you have a home page that will land you right there. I moved forward to some onboarding stuff, uh, how would it look like to have some sort of one to four steps, uh, a headline, some text, a next button. Maybe you skip the next button, you just go a pagination, you scroll through. I did this little rounded feeling of uh, steps. Um, next one was to, I found this cool image of the Uber bike isolated on a clean background. It's always super nice to wor work with. And uh, what if we use that instead and you have that bleeding off the edge. Maybe here you can swipe through or click next to go to the bike and it's kind of just move into the view like this. And uh, I'm talking about unlocking, ride safely, whatever. It, it doesn't really mean much at this point, but I always like to have as much concept and, uh, and logic to it. Not only just making it for the making sake. I don't like that too much. Uh, so I'm always trying to do like real content in here, even though it takes more time. But if you have the real content, you will really see it fast if it works or not. This could be if you still have a code, you have to confirm Maybe you check the wrong bike and it will prompt you like, oh, that was the wrong bike. This is your number and your code to unlock the right one. This was a cool idea I had of like when you're done with your ride, you then would probably leave your bike and then you will see the back of the bike. And that's why this photo feels like you're ending the bike. You're going around, going away from it. And, and then you have a highlight saying like your ride ended and you rode 23 miles and... Uh, this one is all about splash pages, so you're grabbing in some photography in the background to make that like sort of first screen when you open the app, maybe before you even uh, sign in or have an account. Uh, and this one playing with like regular photography, which feels kind of basic when you look at it. So I tried to make some different stuff here. So in the background here, you can see you have a map in the background, so you feel like if you tap this CTA, this entire thing will go up and it will reveal the map right there and then. A uh, little unique movement in motion. And this one is cool, just an above shot of the bike. This shadow is super neat. Uh, different uh, perspective of the bike that you really don't expect. So that's something I always go for, the unexpected. And something that nobody else would think of at the first or second or third iteration. And this is what happened after several iterations as you can see. 
And uh, here I'm building on the previous idea of the map and then the second of them with the photos. So this I found with some nice pattern going diagonally. And uh, what if that was the thing that moves and when you scroll this, it just moves away, maybe it rotates and something like that. It starts to become complex. So that's something I also want to be cautious about to not do. It's super easy to just add in stuff just to for the sake of it. And that's also not very good and this one builds on <laughs> speaking of clutter is having more stuff on here but just like having this little bar goes up around this uh, but you have icons here a menu a profile settings and then in the bottom here you have some uh, just a lock up of text or cta uh, and then i went red as well trying all the combination light dark red and see how that feels like but in general i got a few that i liked from this so let me drag you to the collection that I have and show you the before and after. Um, before I did the revamp and after. Yeah, so this one, you see like the same screen here happening multiple times and even in motion, it's gonna be like check marks and stuff. So I just wanted to eliminate that. So this is the new potential look of this. So you have, you still have duplicated stuff, but then one tip I have is to, this screen and this screen is the same, but it's gonna lock like here and you're gonna rotate it. You're never gonna get down here. So it means you can see that on this screen and you're gonna see that on that screen. And looking at them individually, you can't really tell at a first sight that it's gonna be the same. So that's a good tip of just keeping the work down even though you need to do a few more screens like this. So let me take you to my After Effects uh, prototype. Uh, and this is the progress I have. So basically how I set this up is I have a main comp that hosts uh, the entire uh, animation. I have one pre-comp, which is basically a nested child layer inside of the main layer, which I call devices. So this one is basically the same as this one. So I export everything here as one asset and uh, as you can see, if I drag this one here and we have it in the bottom, it goes under the screen. So this is a mock-up that I cut out the screen itself. So I don't need to do that like nesting uh, design. I have to mask it inside a certain uh, ratio. So this is just an open space. It's super fast and super simple. Uh, I just want to keep the time management down on this one uh, because it's just going to be like you don't care about one screen that much, so you don't have to be that detailed when it comes to that because you're gonna fill the screen anyways. So then in general, I had the device layer down here and uh, then, uh, then I just placed the UI under it like this. So if I move here, I have a lower resolution now because it's gonna take some time otherwise. Um, yeah, so I move it here. I just have it behind the, the screens and then in each of these screens, uh, once I'm placing them correctly, uh, I go into one of them and I, I call them P1, P2, P3, P4. So this is P1 and it's basically I'm picking the flow that I want to have and then I want to have it to repeat. So I just duplicate the layer and I build it like a ladder inside of this composition. So whatever happens in here will then also happen outside here. Uh, but this is now where I do the rotation of the entire thing because it will be a lot of uh, keyframing on all these things. So instead I have the main comp and then I drag in the device comp separately. And then I go in here and I do the rotation and scaling and small effects like that and shadows for example. And um, yeah, that's about it. So I can show you a preview. I might post this later this week because uh, I'm intrigued to animate more of these screens. So right now we just have these, so this is before, and this is at the current state. Um, just one piece of the flow on each of these screens, but they rotate and they repeat themselves. My goal is to have more uniqueness here. When you come in, how does this look like when the bubble's popping up from the map? How does it look like when you scroll from a splash page and go right in from the first time? And uh, how does it look like when you scroll through the onboarding? That could be really cool to see. And um, yeah, why am I doing all this? I think I really just want to explore design styles. And so this one is really not my style, it's Uber's. And I want to like push some 
key styles that I have. For example, I have nothing in the top bar here because it's so hard to reach nowadays. It's often time I just want to do the simplest thing and I feel like I need to take two hands to hold my phone and I think it's kind of ridiculous sometimes. So I really believe in keeping things in the bottom and be very intelligent about how you can navigate this in a proper way. And uh, yeah, just challenge how, how you would do things differently. And I think that's that's how I started design and it's just keep, keep going with me. And uh, yeah, let's uh, see how this goes. And uh, I'd love to hear what you think about this process. And uh, if you have any concept that you're working on right now. All right, talk soon. Bye.